So the step, first step to uh, working with uh, jQuery is to uh, download and install it locally on your machine. Uh, you can download it from jQuery.com by clicking on download or download jQuery um, and uh, copying the JavaScript and CSS uh, for jQuery locally in your machine. Uh, you, could, uh, you should also, if you're going to be working with jQuery user interface, uh, the, an extension to uh, the core jQuery, as we're going to be doing in in, uh, in this in this set of demos uh, videos, uh, you should also download the uh, a jQuery UI, uh, which also contains jQuery. So you might you might as well just download the jQuery UI, which contains the the correct version for jQuery for that particular library, uh, which I've done so already. I've copied the JavaScript uh, and the CSS uh, into a local directory here in my public directory. So under the JavaScript, I've copied the jQuery library and also the jQuery dash UI uh, library. And if to to uh, to work on the, with the jQuery user interface library, you also need to copy the local jQuery UI CSS style sheet, which I already have done. So uh, we're also going to be using an additional uh, styling library called Bootstrap CSS, uh, which you've might have seen uh, videos for that and, and some of my other uh, videos uh, uh, that I've host over here. We're going to be using that so that so we can easily lay out things uh, from uh, in columns or side by side. Um, so so let's get started. And uh, now that we know where everything is, let's um let's create a directory under over here. We'll call it um, uh, draggable or about uh, drag uh, drag and drop. Make a directory under there, and let's uh, create a, a file, a HTML file, index.html, and uh, let's uh, let's load the libraries here using uh, the script tags. So script uh, source, and we're gonna go up one, twice. Let's see how we're in the right place. There we go. So there's jQuery. All right. Uh, to, and then we're going to load the jQuery UI library. For the jQuery UI library, it assumes that you already have the jQuery library loaded. So, so, uh, so load them in that order. First the jQuery library, and then the jQuery UI library. There you go. Okay. And uh, the J jQuery UI library depends on a style sheet, the jQuery UI CSS style sheet, which we have under here, jQuery UI CSS. So let's link that. We'll say link href we go up one twice then we're going to go down the CSS directory and then we're going to load the jQuery UI CSS right and say that this is a style sheet there we are um, and we said that we're also going to be using the bootstrap library so let's link that as well CSS and let's load the bootstrap and this is also a style sheet there you go. Um, and uh, so let's see if this is actually uh, working. Let's try to see if uh, jQuery it has been loaded. Let's just load some dummy h1 here. So let's say hello, um, hello world. And let's see if jQuery is loaded. So to, to test whether jQuery is installed correctly, let's uh, create a little script here and uh, use the, uh, the, uh, the jQuery library. Uh, to, to do some tests here. So when you load the jQuery library, uh, it uh, defines a global uh, variable, global object uh, that can be accessed from anywhere. Uh, and uh, the global variable is called jQuery. jQuery. Uh, and um, this is a, a, a function, an object. It can be treated in different, different ways. Um, that, uh, that is it's kind of treated like a namespace that uh, allows you to do all sorts of things. It's a very, very powerful object. Uh, and uh, so we can uh, uh, make a, a call, for instance, using the, this object. And uh, the way it interprets this, this function call is that uh, it registers that function call uh, with, the, um, with the event of having loaded the, the page. So when the page loads, when it completes loading, uh, it will call the function that we declared in here. So we can call it whatever we want. Let's call it init. Um, and so it will invoke the init function. Uh, when the document is completed loading. So, so that uh, jQuery can then uh, start manipulating the page. It needs to know when the page has completed loading, when the DOM has, when the, when the, when the, when the browser has completed parsing the document, when it has created the DOM 
a uh, representation of that document so that it can start manipulating the document, the HTML page. Uh, so here, the only thing we're going to say is just alert. I'm going to say hello from jQuery. Okay. Uh, so let's uh, run this HTML file. Uh, presumably, what's going to happen is that when the document uh, finish the page finishes loading, we'll call the init function, and presumably it'll say alert hello from jQuery, and we'll know that the that the jQuery has been correct, uh, uh, installed properly. So let's run this. Let's open a local browser. And there it says, hello from jQuery. That means that jQuery has indeed been uh, loaded uh, and, uh, and we're ready to go.